take a look at this creature. What type of creature do you think it is? It's in the water. So is it a fish? Well, fish have scales and I don't see scales on it. Do you? So it's not a fish. Could it maybe be a dolphin or a whale? It doesn't quite look like that either. So what is it? Have you figured it out? It's a manatee. Have you ever heard of manatees before? Manatees are really cool underwater creatures that someone once mistook for a mermaid. Yeah, this was once mistaken for this. But we'll get to that in a second. First, let's look at some really cool facts about manatees. Manatees are mammals that live underwater. But wait, what is a mammal? Do you know? I think it's time for a quick explanation. Mammals are warm-blooded animals that breathe air, have a backbone, and grow hair at some point in their life. Now that we know that, let's see if we can identify some mammals. Are you ready? Take a look at this picture. Can you identify all the mammals? Okay, did you figure it out? Let's circle all the mammals. A cat, a whale, and a human are all examples of mammals. Did you get it right? Did you know that humans and manatees are both mammals? Since manatees are mammals, they need a way to breathe air even though they spend 100% of their life underwater. They get air by just kind of going to the surface when they need air and letting their nose above the water so they can breathe in and out. Now here's something really cool though. Manatees can hold their breath for up to 20 minutes. Now they don't do this all the time. Normally they just wait every few minutes, but if they need to, then they can hold their breath for up to 20 minutes, which is, is not something we can do. Like just don't, don't, please don't try. <laughs> but manatees can, which is pretty cool. There are three species of manatee. Yeah, there are different types of manatees. The Amazonian manatee, the West African manatee, and the West Indian manatee. They are found from Florida to Brazil and in the coastal regions and rivers of Western Africa from Senegal to Angola. The West African and West Indian manatees grow to about 10 feet or three meters in length and weigh up to 1,655 kilograms, also known as 3,650 pounds. That's almost equal to the weight of 27 humans. One manatee can weigh as much as 27 humans. I know. Manatees have stiff whiskers on their face that help them eat and sense the environment around them. These whiskers are made up of long and short hairs known as vibracy. The long ones work like our hands to help them grasp food, which is cool in and of itself. But the short hairs, now those are really cool. Can you guess what manatees use the short hairs for? Do manatees use their short whiskers to one, help them drink water, two, find their way in murky waters, or three, help manatees stay warm when the water is cold. What do you think? The answer is number two. These short whiskers act like a GPS or a compass or a map to help manatees find their way through the water. That's really cool. Manatees are also known as sea cows. Now here's the interesting thing about that fact. When I first learned it, I thought that manatees would be called sea cows because they kind of look like a cow. I mean, if you squint your eyes and kind of forget about the fact that cows have four legs, you can kind of see it, right? Well, it turns out that 
Manatees don't get their name because of how they look. Manatees are known as sea cows because of the amount of seagrass that they eat. They eat so much seagrass. In fact, they can eat seagrass for up to eight hours a day. Just imagine if you had to spend all the hours you would spend in school just eating. It's a long time. 500 years ago, the manatee was mistaken for a mermaid by a European explorer named Christopher Columbus. If you live in the United States, then you might have heard of the name Christopher Columbus before. He's often credited as being one of the first Europeans to land in North and South America. Most people aren't quite sure how it is that Columbus managed to mistake a manatee for a mermaid. Personally, I, I don't see it. Don't get me wrong, I love manatees and I love mermaids. I just don't think they look that similar. But he did. And now manatees are known as mermaids. So what do you think? Do manatees look more like mermaids or sea cows? I'll let you decide and I'll see you next time.